Today we're going to learn about indices or powers. Powers and indices is just two different names for the same thing. Okay, so here I've got the seven laws of indices written down here. And if you remember, we've talked about these first four last time. And today, these last three here that I've put a star next to are the ones we're going to be concentrating on in this lesson. So the first one says, a to the negative m power is equal to 1 over a to the m. The next one says that if a is raised to the power of 1 over m, then that's the mth root of a. And then the last one we've got here says if we've got a to the power of n over m, that's equal to the mth root of a to the n, or the square root of the mth root of a to the power of n. Okay, so I've got some problems over here. First problem is 3 to the 4. And just means 3 times by itself 4 times, which is 81. Just a bit of revision, that one. Right, this one we've got 2 to the minus 2. Using my fifth law here, we can rewrite that as 1 over 2 squared, which is a quarter. Next one here, I've got 5 to the minus 3. Using my fifth law again. We can rewrite that as 1 over 5 to the 3. 5 to the 3 is 125, so that's 1 over 125. Okay, now let us rub these three examples out here so that I've got a little bit more room. I'll rub out these first three because we've done them. And we'll know that the examples that were there before you've seen it. Now, a very common mistake here that even experts could make. Now, here's where, now we're going to use the sixth rule for this 9 to the 1 half. According to a rule, it's the square root of 9, which some people say is plus or minus 3, but when you see this sign, you always take the positive, so it's just 3. Okay, but however, if we have this, this means 9 to the 1 half times minus 1. So then we get that, and if there's negative, in front of the square root here. Work out the square root of 9, which is 3, but then it's negative, so that's negative 3. This one here means this is minus, and means minus 9 to the half, which would lead to working out the square root of minus 9, which for now has no real solutions. Okay, so those are the three different things there. A few, a lot of common mistakes on that one. Okay, next example is going to be 64 to the minus a third. Okay, so this is a bit more, bit more challenging. How we're going to do it is we're going to rewrite that by using the fifth law here as 1 over 64 to the 1 third. And then we're going to use the sixth law and say that's the cube root of 64. And then when we work that out, we'll get 4, so the answer is 1 fourth here. Next one, 32 to the 1 fifth. 
So one day we want to find the safe route. The fairy tale. Got that by using the text law. If you work that out, it's two. I know about a few more of these two examples that I've just done. Now, this time we've got a fraction 8 27th to the 2 thirds. Okay, so this time what we want to do is we'll look at this law here, the last one. Right, so the M on the bottom, the number on the bottom is the root. So what we want to do is want to find the third root, which means the cube root of 8 27ths and raise that to the power of 2. And if we're finding the cube, a root of a fraction, we can rewrite that as that. There we go, there's our solution. So we just have to remember that little rule there. And then you can find the two roots of the separate numbers, the numerator and the denominator. Next one we've got here is 5 and the 16th to the minus 3 quarters. First we can rewrite that. That's 81 over 16. And then we use this law here. We can rewrite that as 5. And then what we do is work out the fourth root of both of these. But I'm not going to write all steps in, you should you know that by now. So that's and the fourth root of 81 is 3, and the fourth root of 16 is 2. And we want to cube that. And then we get 1 over 27 eighths, which then, when we divide 1, this means 1 over 27 eighths, so that's the divide. So what we do now is we can, we've, that's 8 twenty-sevenths. Okay, so that's a very challenging problem. And you probably won't get anything as hard as that in your exam, but it's best to do them in case. Right, 4 to the minus, 4 to the 1.5. Now we know that 1.5 can be rewritten as 4 to the... Three halves. Okay, so then we can use the last rule here. The square root of four cubed, which is two cubed, which is eight. Okay. So, two thirds, so four to the 1.5, all we do is we rewrite that as a fractional index of power. And then we can calculate it by using these laws here. Okay, you change these fact, mixed fraction numbers here and then proper fractions first. And if you want to find a root of a fraction, you can f you find out the root of the numerator and the root of the denominator. Okay, so that's all I want to say. Any questions, leave them on the video.